Hello once again everybody, so today we're going to be doing the Jad and a Fight Kiln, or Fight Cave, sorry, Fight Cave guide to the Fire Cape. As you can see I have one on my friend's account here that I had gotten him a long time ago, and also I have my inventory setup that I'm going to be using. I don't have any specific type of inventory to actually tell you to use. Minimum requirements for this are... Um, 43 prayer and 60 magic that is like bare minimum you could probably do it even lower um, but I wouldn't suggest doing it any lower than that um, for that type of thing you would need to bring like mage and whatnot I did this on a level like 80 magic one defense 43 prayer like 50 hit points account and I only used half my inventory so, you know, you can do this with just about anything. As far as inventory goes, if you if this is your first time, I would go full out. What I'm bringing here is purple sweets, a super war masters potion, which is basically like an overload for like a viable overload that's not as good as overloads, and it's like super attack strength defense and all that. Super war master, it's a war master potion. I'm bringing a prayer renewal flask, I'm bringing a bunch of super restores and a bunch of super serodomen brew flasks because yeah it's not my money so I was like you know if I'm gonna do this for you I'm just gonna go ahead and get um, the most expensive potions. Uh, normal Sarah brews would work, you could actually do this with like shark uh, just depending how good you are but for your first time. I would definitely suggest taking these. This is just like, it'll make it a little bit faster on me. So, yeah. Um, also, you I would really suggest if it's your first time killing Jad to bring a mage switch. Um, it's really just not suggested to bring like a melee thing. Or you can go full out mage. Uh, I wouldn't suggest bringing melee at all, but it's really slow. It took me four hours with that 80 magic account I was talking about to actually get the cape but it looks pretty sick on the account so yeah I would definitely suggest bringing like your best mage gear because they're all weak to magic and I would definitely suggest bringing different types of spells to cast because they are weak to different types of magic if you were wondering what these are these are purple sweets and for any low level, if you don't want to sit there and rest and wait for your hit points to come back, you will bring purple sweets because you can just eat them as you're killing stuff and whatnot. On this account, I typically go through like 300, 400 sweets. I don't remember what I did last time. So yeah, I'm going to get this guy a second fire cape. I'm going to teach you guys all the waves and all that. There's, a, there's actually a pattern that the waves go in. Um, and once you memorize that pattern, it, it's pretty apparent. It goes like 22, and then wave 2 is like 22, 22, and those are the combat levels of the thing. I, I will be referring to them as their combat levels. But yeah, it goes 22 and 22, and then it goes 45, and then it goes 45 and 22, then it goes 45 and 22 and 22, then it goes 245s, and after the 245s are done, it'll go 90, then once um, you kill the 90, it'll go... 90 22 and then it will go 90 22 22 then it'll go 90 45 and then it will go 90 45 22 then it'll go 90 45 22 22 then it'll go 90 it's a really easy pattern basically the levels that you actually have in the caves are you have your level 22s and then you have your level 45s and you have your level 90s then you have your level 360s um and then you have Jad. <laughs> the level, the level, the, I'm not going to bother talking about the lower levels, but the level 90s use range attacks, the level 180s use, um, I, think I'm, I think I left that out, there are level 180s, they use melee, and then there are 360s which use mage, and then there is Jad which will use all of them. The level 22s use melee, or no, they use melee or range, I don't know, they're little noobs, I'm pretty sure they use melee, and the level 45s use, um, what is it, it's melee also, and when the level 45s die, they'll split apart into two smaller monsters, and you can just kill those, 
So before actually getting into it, just in case you guys didn't know, you guys can skip this if you do know where the location of the cave is. But you need to go to Karamja here. Uh, you can either take a boat or Glory Telly or use the lodestone. You can even take a charter ship right here. But you will go to this volcano and you will enter the cave right here. Once you are inside of the cave, Once you are inside of the cave, you will appear right here and you need to run north and then run west over to where it says fight cave right here and there will be a bank right next to it. What I would highly suggest doing before you actually go into the kiln or the fight cave I mean is drink this, bank it, and then take out another one. I do not actually have another one to drink from so I, I am going to just drink one at a time, just super attack, super strength, super defense, and then I will head into the cave and we'll get started with the actual, you know, guide. So let me just get all these drank up. Also, before you go in, I would highly suggest setting your spell to whatever your best spell is. And it looks like his is Airwave, so I think I'm going to bank his fire. Oh, no, no, he has Fire Wave. Okay. Set it as your main hand and off hand. Uh, just use your best mage gear. Once inside the cave, it's just going to start off, you know, pretty simple. Um, you're just going to get attacked by really low levels. But before I get on, this over here is basically the best safe spotting spot you have. You can either hide here or you can hide back here. You can lure your preys to over here and, you know, safe spot them the best you can. And right here, it's just going to see, like I said, 22 earlier. Uh, just kill that. And then two level 22s will spawn. You see it says wave 2. There are 63 two or 63 waves in total but you will get a message before Jad pops up and he will not pop up until that message has disappeared from my understanding don't quote me on that though because I could be wrong here we are on wave 3 and I'm just going to kill the level 45 that I was talking about basically my best suggestion to you guys is if you guys need to log out, then don't log out. Wait for something to attack you like it is now. And then right after he dies, click exit the lobby and it will save your progress. But you need to be in combat for that to activate. Um, otherwise, don't log out. It will reset your progress and you'll have to start all over. Uh, just need to get that out really quick. And for these first couple waves, you just kind of pile through and if you guys were wondering this is a guide meant for you know as you're doing your fight cave you can do it along with me so this will be a long gated guide it's just going to be easier that way for you guys um, just have this video playing in the background or if you have dual monitors have it playing on one and pause the video whenever needed if you are ahead of me or behind me and also, yeah, basically just wave your way through these. Uh, I, I think we're on the level 90, maybe not. I, don't, I'm, I wasn't, I've been talking. I would also suggest turning auto uh, auto retaliate off. No, we're not on the 90. We're on the double 44s. Um, and yeah, this is just such a predictable pattern. Once you've done this so many times, you know all 63 ways by heart. Basically, there's going to be these two level 45s. We're going to kill those. Um, once these two 45s are dead, it will spawn a level 90. And he will use range attacks, so beware. 
on wave seven that there will be range attacks if you are a low level. Also, you can save spot the level 45s from over here on that peninsula I was talking about earlier. Remember to kill your level 22s. If you have the sacrifice ability, I would put that as number one on your ability bar. If need be, it will give you like a lot of hit points as you go through the fight cave. Just a massive amount of hit points uh, as a whole, because every time you hit, it will heal you a portion of that um, when you use that ability. And right here, there should be a level 90 on wave eight and a level 22 which will probably walk up to me soon there it is and here's wave nine with a 90 and two level 22s i would suggest praying range if you are a lower combat Wave 10 will be a 90 and a level 45. If need be, you can safe spot the level 45s from that peninsula. Just keep that in mind. Uh, it will save you hit points in the long run, but it will risk on um, time. And if you have low defense, I would I would definitely suggest doing that. Um, you just have to use mage or range. Unless you're a pro with melee and you can't get hit, there are ways to do that. But I would just suggest you using the things that were meant for that. And wave 11 should be level 45, a level 22, and a level 90 which keep praying range it's also very important to save as much prayer as you can throughout the cave and if you have it activate vampirism it's not it's not too important Wave 12 should be a level 90, two level 22s, and a level 45. Right, there's the other level 22. On these waves, you typically will want to kill the level 90 first every time, the ranger. And then kill all the small little mumpskins. And now we should have two level 45s and a level 90. There's our level 90 right there. On wave 13. And just always keep in mind if you are having trouble or are losing a lot of hit points, then definitely save spot these. You don't want a you don't want four level twenty twos from the level forty fives to actually be attacking you. So if you, if you can try and lure them so that only one or two of them are hitting you at the same time, 
because they will do a considerable amount of damage over time. We have 14, should be le two level 90s. So I would definitely suggest praying range on this wave. And after this, we will have level 180s. And for those who do not have soul split, this is why we brought a mage switch. We will come over to this peninsula, lure the guy here, the level 180 here, and just start attacking him where he can't do anything. Also remember to switch your ability bar over because there's no point in not doing that. Once he is dead, another one will spawn and a level 22 will spawn. Basically do the same thing as you did before. Just keep safe spotting them. Sometimes a level 180 will get stuck way back there and you can just you just have to run out this way to get him unstuck. He he wasn't stuck for me, but just it's possible to get him stuck where my mouse cursor is. Wave 17 should be another level 180 and two level 22s. Just continue safe spotting them. At this point in the video, I will be drinking a Super War Master potion. Just to make it more efficient. We should have a level 45 and a level 180 on wave 18. Just kill them. Things will get more complicated towards the end. Wave 19 will be another level 180. In between waves, if you need to, you can use your regenerate ability. You can also use sitting if you just sit down for a while, or you can eat the purple sweets. As you attack, you can actually eat the purple sweets, but for those who did not want to buy them, you can just sit, and it will heal you faster than... I think your hit points will go to max, like full, after five minutes. Try your best not to get hit by level 180s. They can do a considerable amount of damage. Later on we may need to do some tanking.
We are now on wave 21. On these waves, I would suggest killing the lower level monsters that are attacking you before the level 180 if you had not been doing that. Also, if you have a level 45 stuff behind the level 180, it is a wise decision to kill the level 45 because that way he will, when he spawns his two level 22s, they cannot attack you because they are stuck behind the level 180. Now we are on wave 22. Wave 22 will be a range prey if you cannot get the level 90 to be stuck but there will be a level 90 on this wave if you can see me on video right now the level 90 is stuck and it can't attack me so I'm not praying but for those of the for those of you who have vampirism or soul split don't even worry about range prey prayer is not going to be that effective until we get to later waves. Now we'll have another level 90. For a while we're going to be getting these level 90s and we're also going to have smaller creatures. Up until we hit the level 360s we will have level 90s. So Range prey as much as you can if you need to. It will get interesting once the level 360s come. I'd also suggest in between waves to just hide over here. That way when the level 90 pops up, he's not just doing damage to you while you're standing there and you're waiting to lure the level 180. But definitely kill the level 90 first if he is attacking you. If he cannot attack you, then don't kill him first. And now we are on wave 25. I believe there's going to be a level 45, a 90, and a level 180. So hide in your safe spot and wait for everything to approach you. Once everything has approached you, basically just use your brain and kill whatever's attacking you or the highest level thing that is attacking you first, of course disregarding the level 180 because he should at all times never even hit you. That is until possibly in later waves. The fight caves used to not so much before EOC required a lot of thinking on what the best way was to kill stuff, but now it's just kind of like a mash fest. You still have thinking required, but it's just not nearly as skillful as it used to be. Coming here to wave 26, we should have a level 22, a level 45, and a level 90. 
in my clip here you can see that everything except for this level 22 is safe spottable so I go ahead and kill the level 45 first you might have a different setup than me just once again use your brain on how to kill these things In this clip, I can just barely attack the level 90 without the 180 attacking me. If this happens to you and you are closer and the level 180 can hit you, run away and get the level 180 closer to the save spot, or the level 90 I mean. That way you can kill him safely. On wave 27, we have a level 90, a level 180, and two level 45s that we will have to take care of. In this clip, this is kind of the ideal thing you want. You want the level 180 standing in front of the level 90, that way when you use your dragon breath, it will also hit the level 180 and in time saving you a little bit of time a little bit of game ticks we are however approaching quickly the level 360s that use mage and we will definitely have to be preying on those regardless because they can hit really high uh, if you have soul split, you do have the option of just soul splitting if you do a lot of DPS, if you have some really strong gear. If you do not have strong gear, then I would not suggest soul splitting because um, you will take less damage with just praying mage on the level 360s. So we should have two level 45s, level 180, and a level 90 on this wave, which is wave 28. If you can see in my situation, I have a level 45, and everything else is blocked behind the rock, so I'm going to take care of this level 45 just to take a little bit less damage. And I am also using the technique to have the level 180 block everything for me. In this situation, I actually am having trouble hitting the level 90 without having the 180 hit me. If you're ever in a situation where you absolutely cannot kill the level 90 ranger without the level 180 hitting you, kill the ranger and turn on melee prey and just let the level 180 kind of brawl on you. You can heal up afterwards. Um, right now, if you're doing really bad on food right now, then I would suggest turning around and starting over. If you're doing really bad, like used up half your supply, I would definitely tell you to turn around. If you've used up like a li just a tiny bit of food you you should be good for the entire fight cave don't quote me on that but you should me I haven't touched any food yet here we have two level 90s and a level 180 I am just going to tank the level 180 because I am lazy but you should probably not do that you should probably hide behind the pillar and take on one at a time but on wave 30, we will have two level 180s.
And as you can see, I'm just healing because I was lazy. So wave 30, we are here and we are at the two level 180s. Prepare for the next wave. This is where things get a little more interesting. You will be more than likely having to eat food unless you have tier 90 weapons and tier 90 gear. Um, you will have, you'll need to eat food at some point. So once wave 30 is done, turn on your mage prey. And we will have the level 360s. I'm just going to attack them with melee for right now. You don't need to do that. Just attack them with whatever you brought. Melee is actually kind of a bad idea. They are weak to range. If you brought range. And yeah, as I fight, I just kind of do that. I click my regenerate. regenerate and... Just for these first couple, I don't really mind. But later when you have level 360s, level 90s, and level 180s all attacking you at once, you do not want to melee these, for the most part at least. So wave 33, we have Level 300, 360 and two level 22s. I'm just going to kind of eat these sweets as I kill the thing. Should be dead here in a second. Yep. A good thing to do is if you need to eat, go ahead and do that while you have a level 22 just sitting there. And wave 34, I'm just waiting for it to spawn. There he is. Also drink your prayer renewal if you have not. I kind of forgot to drink mine. If there is a level 45 that's trying to attack you, just run to the other side of the 360 if meleeing. If you are safe spotting this, then don't worry about it. But yes, this is where things will get more interesting, and ideally you don't want to use any food up till this point, or any prayer really, but it, for those lower levels I do understand when you don't have really high defense. If you can, um, block the 360 and just kill the lower levels. And then you can kill the 360 later. And whenever you do not need the prayer, you know you are safe, turn it off. I might not do it the entire video, but it's just a good thing to do. Because you'd really hate to get the Jad with no prayer left. Just don't turn it off in between spawns because that can be really bad. We are on wave 36 now. And there is our level 360. Basically, if you bring melee and you have purple sweets it's not hard to kill anything for these waves at least later on we will need to be safe spotting I'm just doing this now to actually save time because if I use mage the whole time with Andrew's 77 magic it will 
be pretty slow. Always try to use your thresholds on the 360. Um, just kill it as fast as possible. Kill it with fire. If you have not been doing that already, I'm assuming that you have and you are smart enough to do that. I might attempt to kill Jad with melee. Maybe not. I don't know. I've never done that before, so. It'd be interesting to try. I mean, if I die, I wasted time. If I don't die, you know. Cool, I killed Jad for me with melee for the first time. I've probably done over 100 Jads. Um, Pre EOC and after EOC. I'm on wave 38 now, and we have a level 90 and a level 360. I'm going to tank this. Ideally, though, you would want to block one of the two and take out the other one. Um, if you guys need to know how to do that, you would just go here and use, like, mage or range. And then you can come back and kill the other one. Just kind of a common sense thing, just work with the game mechanics through the whole thing. Okay, so I have another 360 here. It can get pretty brutal when 90s and 360s are attacking you at once. If you're not paying attention, your life points could drop completely and you could just die. But me having Tetsu on right now, I'm not too concerned about anything at the moment. Always remember to keep your prayer up too. Um, your prayer points up, that is. Like right now I could turn my prayer off just fine. But right after I kill that and the wave switches, I do need prayer. I'm on wave 40 now. Which hopefully you are too and you are doing fine. As you can see on screen, I blocked the level 90 that was attacking me a second ago with the giant rock here. And I'm just taking out the level 360 really quick. It does also help that I am on Slayer task and that Slayer Helm is giving me some pretty bonuses. So wave 41, just keep doing the same thing. It'll get even more interesting once you have the level 180s out. Because I would highly suggest, I'm, I mean, even I am going to block the level 180s because they can do a lot of damage. And I'd just rather not deal with that. Here in the clip, you can see me. I'm going to heal up really quick in between wave 41 and 42. And the way I'm doing this is just blocking the level 45 from attacking me and using regenerate really quickly and spamming my purple sweets. Once I am fully healed, I will just kill the level 45.
At this point in the video, I'll be drinking a Super War Masters potion to boost my stats. Just because I have it. You just really need to remember to save one or two doses for Jad of your War Master potion. And don't do as I did, and remember to keep Mage Prey on. I had Melee Prey on for some reason. I don't know why, why I did that. Just not really paying attention, I guess. But yes, keep Mage Prey up basically until Jad, and just turn it off when it needs to be turned off. Like right now, for instance, there's no level 360. I'm just taking on these level 22s. I turn prayer off just to kind of save save prayer even though I have plenty of potions that is totally okay if I waste my prayer but I am not going to do that here also don't do as I did and kill the 360 before you kill the level 90 I don't know why I keep doing that And after this wave, we should start up on wave 44. Alright, so here we are on wave 44, and in this type of situation where the level 90 and the level 360 are attacking me at the same time and they are stuck on each other, there's really nothing you can do except for tank it out. And yes, let the grind fest begin. Since this level 90 spawned right next to me, I'm just going to kill it. But yeah, turn on your Mage Prey. Oh yeah, I did not mention this, but Wave 45 is two level 90s and a level 360, so beware. Um, just main objective, kill the level 360 first and then get the 290s. Ideally, that's how it's supposed to work. Alternatively, you can do as I did and kill a level 90, then the 360, then the level 90. It's totally up to you. I do not know what setup you have and how well you are doing so far. Me, I haven't even touched any food but purple sweets. At this point in the video, you will have, at wave 46, you will have a level 180 and a level 360 attacking you, so shit's getting brutal in the level 180. Sometimes these things will spout green stuff out of them and they will heal. Basically, all you want to do is say fuck you and keep killing it. And I would suggest switching to mage if you didn't bring mage as your main weapon. But if you are meleeing, you can block the 180 with the 360 like I'm doing here. And then take out the 180 like I am doing. I'm also about to spout the Guthix Blessing which is a healing ability because if they're gonna heal then fuck it I'm gonna heal
keep either safe spotting or just killing stuff. It, it's totally up to you. I'm on wave 48 right now, and there will be a level 180 and two level 22s. 22s really aren't that big of a deal. In my opinion, I mean, they're level freaking 22. Once the 360's dead, kill the 180. I'm just going all out with speed here with the Drygore melee. But ideally, you do want to save spot everything. Another thing you can do is if the 180 is right here, you can trap the 360 and just take out the 180 really quick. Doesn't really make too much of a difference. And yeah, take out the 360 or the 180, whatever, wherever you are in the thing right now. At this point, I'm going to drink another dose of my War Master Potion, and I'm going to start using Piety, because I just want to get through this. Um, just Piety, because I am definitely good on Prayer Potions, and I don't think it's going to be a big deal if I use Piety. I don't think it's going to affect my overall progress. And we are on wave 50 right now. And now we are on wave 51, where we will just slaughter the level 360 really quick. And for you meleeers out there, you can block this level 180 with the level 45s and the level 22s, so I would suggest doing that. Because, I mean, why not? But eventually he will attack you. On wave 52, you're going to have a 40, two level 45s, a level 180, and a level 360. After this wave, you will have a level 90, a level 180, and a level 360. You're basically going to have all the badass monsters attacking you at once. So if you are doing bad at this point, definitely on wave 53, you want to be safe spotting. Just a warning out there for all of you. If you're doing as good as me, then just keep doing what you've been doing. Because I am pretty much going flawless right now.
I mean, I could have done this faster if I were on my account, but 44 minutes, whatever. Oh yeah, if you have Superior Elite Void, I, you could take that. that. That would make things really fast if you know what you're doing. And here we are on wave 53 with the level 90, the level 180, and the level 360. So we're getting close to Jad, just 10 more waves. And for some unknown reason, I am tanking the 360 when I should be killing it. Whatever. I don't know, I wouldn't suggest using ultimates and uh, like at all during the entire fight caves. You, there's no point to ultimates. Uh, the perfect method of tanking is just eating purple sweets as everything attacks you. As long as your gear is really good and by the time everything's dead you should still be alive. If you guys want, I could make a one defense guide for this, which would be a lot more intense. However, it might be a long jugated video, and nobody in this game ever has one defense anymore because you can't wear anything with one defense. For some reason, I am killing the level one eight or the level yeah the level one hundred eighty. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm not even praying mage. Okay, let's pray mage now. Hi. Let me kill you. And we're about to go to wave 40 or 56. Okay, so kill your level 360 first. Um, there are all kinds of luring methods that you could use. I just don't. Like, I just don't need to do them. If you are one of those people that have to save spot or you're going to get wrecked, basically you just lure everything over to that one rock we talked about at the beginning of the video. And, yeah, wreck everything there. Okay, so once this wave's done, we should be on wave 57. Congratulations, you're getting there. You are getting there, buddy. Basically, keep the grind fest up. And as always, if you need a safe spot, there is the rock. I don't know how many times I need to tell you that. You basically just lure, like, safe spotting, I guess it's too late in the cave for me to tell you this, but safe spotting, you just go to that spot and you attack the highest thing that's attacking you. I might have said that already, I'm not quite sure. 
It's been a long gigated video. At this point, I'm going to drink another War Master potion, and my voice is going away because I've been talking for almost an hour. Oh my gosh. Wave 58, you're still going to have the same mesh of shit. Um, my favorite waves will be later on. It's called the waves before Jad. Lol. And as you see there, I just got pretty wrecked because I am tanking for some unknown reason. And I don't want to drink my Sarah Brews right now because it would take my stats down and yeah, that would suck. So I'm just eating my purple sweets, making it through the cave on sweets, you know, candy. It's cool. And the second here, I'm going to start healing up and we're going to start our final waves. I need to heal really quickly. I'm sure you can hear my spam clicking. continue now. Drink some prayer purse or prayer restores too. Um, I'm also going to drink a prayer renewal flask. I'm not sure if that was even up or not, but I just did. I only need the last dose for Jad and I'm pretty sure I can get there in about five minutes. And it's only a couple more waves, right? This silence is killing me. So this is wave 59. This is where we start seeing doubles. This is like once you start seeing once you see this field here, once you see a level 90, two level 45s, a level 180, a level 360, you know that you are about at Jad because next up will be two level 90s, a level 360, a level 180, then there will be two level 180s a level 360 and then there will be two level 360s and then it is Jad. So we're just gonna do this and get it done with. Here if you are not in Tetsu I would also suggest um, safe spotting Okay, at this point, you will have two level 90s on wave 60 and level 360 and a level 180. Um, safe spot this if you so wish to. If you want to tank it like a boss like me, then you will 
just tank it like a boss like me because EOC doesn't take any skill at all. And I hope I don't die on Jad because I haven't died on Jad in like 10 years. Five years, probably probably five years, realistically. Unless you count in the fight kiln when I wasn't paying attention because I don't know how to do the fight kiln. I just know how to do the fight cave. Because that's the cool one. Getting the cape of fire. Okay, so wave 61, um, we're gonna have two level 90s, or two level 180s, and a level 360. Just um, do as you have been this entire time in either safe spotting or tanking. I really don't care, it's whatever suits you best. Whatever floats your boat. Me, I am obviously just doing really swell, only down 150 sweets, about to be at Jad. This next wave, though, if you've been soul splitting at all, I would highly suggest to turn off soul split and definitely turn on Mage Prey because wave 61 is two level 360s, and you're gonna get you're gonna get wrecked, son, if you don't turn on Mage Prey. Just you're gonna die. Well, you might not die. You, you could live. I, I would just just do it. Like, what? What's the point in not doing it? Are you are, are you going to challenge me on this? I want to suggest that. I think I'm going to do Jad with melee. I don't know what his melee thing looks like though. Like when he goes for a melee attack, I have no idea what that actually looks like. And my foot's going numb. Oh my gosh. Stop at foot. Okay, thank you. Why would that even happen? I was sitting on my foot and now it went numb. So after wave 62, you will have the Jad. Um, there are ways to know what his first attack would be, but my best suggestion would be just brew up way past your life points and drink a food thingy and fucking hopefully you don't get one hit from the Jad. Okay, he's going to do that and okay. So basically, this is his mage attack when he does the thing, and I just, I, I literally just let him hit me twice, what the fuck. Okay, I'm switching the mage, I, I don't care. Three. So, yeah, I, I'm not gonna melee him, because that shit looked bad. <laughs> oh, that was range. And I drank my Supreme Potion when I wasn't supposed to drink my Supreme Potion. Okay. I'm fucking up here. Don't take me as an example. I'm a bad example of the Jad killing. There goes Mage. Once you see his level 180 start spawning, that's when you want to pay attention, though. I mean, he'll stomp on the ground when he does range, and he will lift his fucking head up to do the magic. Asphyxiation. Um, but yeah, that's basically Jad, like, and all of his, all of his self. And you basically don't want the level 108 healers to actually attack him. And I just let Jad, like, fucking hit me. What am I doing? I should be dead right now. I let him hit me so many times. Yeah, but basically, just get the level 108s on top of you, and you should be good to go from there. Um, obviously, don't die. Pay a lot of attention to what his attacks are. That's your main priority. Me, I should be dead, but I have been talking, so it's been distracting the fuck out of me. And, yeah, we're gonna go for range, range. Okay, that's range. Uh, definitely make sure your prayers are at all times all the way up to. I think I want to go melee again. I think I, think I want to try it again. Should I go melee again? Yeah, I should do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go melee again. 
range prayer. One second, Jad. I'll be there in a I, I just gotta, gotta like, fucking. Okay, so yeah, his melee attack. I would just suggest after like every hit, just switch back to melee. And yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Lol. This is so bad. I'm so bad at this. Okay, I've never meleeed him before, so what? Okay. Why? Stop healing, you motherfucker. Do you have to actually, like, physically... Okay, so he's gonna hit me. I should probably turn on piety. And, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I should be dead, like, ten times over right now. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, we're coming over here. Turn auto retaliate off. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> lols okay 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 he's gonna keep maging me oh my gosh this is too this is too funny i think you actually have to kill the healers now like back in the day you didn't have to kill the healers fucking range prey no mage prey hey guys let's do a jad guide where i fuck up a lot and he's gonna range prey Range. Dude, I should literally be I should be dead like ten times over. Okay. That's chill though, like I'm not. I I gotta melee him though. It's gonna range us. Dude, will these healers just not die or what? Die. Oh my gosh. These things are like Strong as fuck, oh my god. Oh my gosh, I didn't even pray on that. Wow. I should literally be dead like 15 times. Okay, let's eat up really quick. And switch over to range. And do the mage thing. And yeah, let's take out this last one. And we'll go back to mailing him because that was fun. It was fun almost dying 50 times to Chad. That's my idea of fun. <laughs> Fucking die, healer. Okay. So. That's gonna hit us. That's gonna hit us. He's going mage. Oh no, he's going range. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're doing it. We're doing it. He's going mage. Okay. We got this. We got this. Okay. I see how it's done. I see how it's done. Okay, so Jad. Good fight, sir. Good fight. You're done. Okay. <laughs> that was probably the worst actual Jad guide in the world, but yeah. Uh, there's a fire cape. Uh, who cares? But yeah, fire cape. And yeah. I hope this guy I hope this guy actually helped you guys. I don't know if it did. But I should have finished Andrew's task, his slayer task for him and whatnot. And yeah, he has two fire capes now, so he should be happy about the two fire capes. I've never even had two fire capes myself. I kinda wanna see these stack in the bank. Because usually like Yeah. He'll have one, like, he, now he has one that he can sacrifice for the kilns once he actually goes and does, does that. And you guys have a cute little guide you can watch. So if you guys watch this video and if it helped you at all, go ahead and dick slap the like button and subscribe. If you have any questions about this, just ask down in the comments and I will be sure to answer them. Goodbye.